On this day in hockey history, January 22nd, 1987, the Devils and Flames play in front of just 334 fans. For this TDIHH, we're taking it back to the late 1980s when New Jersey was hit with a snowstorm the same day the Devils were set to play host to the Calgary Flames. 11,247 tickets were sold for that game, but just 334 fans were able to make it out. The game was delayed for almost two hours as the Devils attempted to get all of their players to the rink. When the puck was finally dropped, fans were scattered throughout Meadowlands Arena. Perry Anderson opened the scoring for New Jersey and then powered by a hat trick from Doug Suleiman, the Devils went on to a 7-5 win. The crowd of just 334 fans stands as a record for fewest to ever attend an NHL game. That, of course, outside of this season and last year's bubble. For those in attendance, the Devils created the 334 Club, of which there are only 334 members. And so have a listen, have a look, some of the sights and sounds from that night with only 334 fans in New Jersey. Several calls were put in to the NHL Vice President Brian O'Neill, and I'm told that O'Neill said once the visiting team is in the vicinity of the arena, the game is going to be played, even if there's only one person in the stand. Back goes McCowan. McCowan clearing it. It was almost a break. McCowan with a solid hit. They score! Anderson, Perry Anderson out front. He was not scheduled to play because they were shorthanded. He's playing. Pass from Loisel on the boards. Here he comes now. He throws it in front to the uncovered Perry Anderson, who just tipped it past Dadswell. Wilson, up the left side, cuts into the slot, moving in, shoots, scores! Well, Wilson made a real nice play. It was a crisscross on behalf of the Calgary forwards, and the Calgary defenseman switched instead of pulling the switch. And watch Wilson comes right across the rink. And you see the Calgary defense, or the Jersey defenseman gets kind of screened off. And Wilson puts it up in a big hurry. Putting it down into the Calgary zone. Goes behind the net around the boards. Intended for Patterson out in front. Oh, and Verbeek set up right in front all by himself. The Flames forgot him. A very harmless looking play. The puck was going around behind the net. Verbeek went to the front of the net and the pass came right to him and he put it in. Good save, Chevrier. Tonelli out in front, deflected. And Chevrier saved off Poplinski. Here she moves in, shoots, scores! A great shot by Sheehy and just a completely atrocious play by Mel Bridgman who goes out to check him. And Sheehy pulls the puck in. Watch this. Bridgman, a terrible attempt there, and she he pulls the puck past him, and then he looked, he looks like a marksman when he stuck that one up high just under the bar. The St. Louis Blues come calling to face the Flames, 7.30, you'll see it all on two and seven. The Calgary penalty killers, for the most part, have kept the shots from as far outside as you can when you're down two men, and no one has been able to get near the rebounds, partially thanks to Dadswell, who controlled them so well but they are getting out quickly and not allowing the, lot, the shot from the point. And there's the chef, nobody to feed tonight. He can hardly talk, but he looks like it by the size of him. He ate it all. And there's the usher. There was only two that could make it the game tonight. He's fallen asleep. Whoops. 